sponsored by Paramount Builders. The 12 Who Care Community Service Awards honors people in our community who make the First Coast a better place to live. Navy veteran Barb Kent has dedicated her life to serving others with a special focus on children. She volunteers with middle and high school youth programs, assists with the local veterans treatment court, and is a former foster mom. Matia Collins caught up with her at Fernandina Beach High School to learn more about her mission to give back. Each Interact Club meeting here at Fernandina Beach High School starts with the Pledge of Allegiance and reciting the group's guiding principles. Will it build goodwill and better friendships and will it be beneficial to all concerned? It's one of the many lessons these high school students learn from program co-leader Barb Kent. Ms. Barb never isn't doing something. She is running around helping whoever she can. I've never seen her chilled out and not doing something. She's always on the run. What can I help with? What can I do? What reason are we here on earth for if we can't help others and make other people's lives better? So that's, um, that's my job. <laughs> Kent's service to others started in 1981 when she joined the U.S. Navy. She spent time in the Bahamas, Italy, and London before retiring from service in 1998. She then moved to Fernandina Beach, but never lost her desire to serve others. Retirement, I don't do retirement. You know, there's too many people that need help and too many people that say no to fun adventures. Kent has been a member of the Fernandina Beach Rotary Club for more than 20 years. She also volunteers with the local Veterans Treatment Court, but she says her biggest calling is helping children. They're our future, and uh, if you can put a little sparkle in a kid's life and they see something totally different, you just show them a different window, and they, wow, I didn't know I could do that. And you say, of course you can, and we'll help you. She's opened her home to youth in need as a foster parent. Six children have stayed with her, some growing alongside her son. My son would see these kids come to our house with holes in their shoes, with clothing that hasn't been washed in weeks, and his eyes were just wide opened and uh, that kind of gave me the, the idea of helping kids because kids need advocates and you have to fight hard to get those kids um, to have a good life. She is involved in the local teen court program where she helps misdemeanor youth offenders get criminal charges removed from their record. She also hosts foreign exchange students. 14 have stayed in her home, including Elma Ness, who's from Sweden. I have how to be able to take more responsibilities because she treats me more like a person and like another human being than just someone she has to take care of. Kent's dedication to children and her advocacy for youth and veterans is why she's a 12 Who Care Community Service Award recipient. There is nothing better than that feeling of giving to someone else just time. It's not like I have a lot of money, but I give them my time and love on them and tell them you can do it. It's not about me. It's about the kids. Reporting Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.